Transformation. The term transformation refers to the process of changing or altering something in a significant way. In English language, it can have multiple meanings depending on the context. Here are a few common uses of the word transformation, along with examples to illustrate their meanings. 1. Physical transformation. This refers to a change in the physical appearance or form of something. For instance, the transformation of a caterpillar into a butterfly is a remarkable process. The old building underwent a transformation and was converted into a modern hotel. 2. Personal transformation. This refers to a profound change in one's character, behavior, or beliefs. Examples include. After attending a self-help seminar, she underwent a personal transformation and became more confident. His trip to a foreign country was a transformative experience that broadened his perspectives. 3. Business transformation. This refers to a significant change in the strategies, operations, or structure of a company. For example, the company underwent a digital transformation adopting new technologies to improve its efficiency. The merger with another company brought about a transformation in their business model. 4. Linguistic transformation. This refers to the alteration of a word or phrase to create a different grammatical form or meaning. Examples include the transformation of the adjective happy to the adverb happily by adding the suffix li. The sentence, she is reading a book, can be transformed into a question by switching the subject and the auxiliary verb, is she reading a book? 5. Mathematical transformation. In mathematics, transformation refers to the mapping of points from one coordinate system to another. Examples include, a translation is a transformation that moves a shape without changing its size or orientation. A reflection is a transformation that flips a shape over a line. It's important to note that the term transformation generally implies a significant or profound change rather than a minor adjustment. The context in which it is used will determine its specific meaning.